Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be getting ready for the day while demonstrating some of the new holiday makeup I purchased during the Sephora holiday savings event. And today is the day VIB members can shop using the code YAYHOLIDAY at checkout. You'll receive 15% off your order and don't worry insiders, your day is coming later on this week. If you haven't done so already, it's free to sign up. Anybody can do so and that way you can take advantage and get a discount on these items. Now, I already shared my main haul the first day, uh, but I did go back for seconds. I picked up a few additional items which I'm going to share in today's video. So let's get started. I'm going to begin with eyes today, so I'm starting out with the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Rose Gold Eye Masks. Usually I wear the gold, but they have these really pretty rose gold masks. But it's the same incredible ingredients. I like them because they're jumbo. <laughs> they are so huge, so they cover the entire under eye area. And they're great for prepping the under eye, but they're also nice because it'll act as a shadow shield. Anytime I do my eyes first, I like to go in with these masks. The serum is really thin. I like to give a quick massage to secure them in place, otherwise they will start slipping down my face. But these contain aloe leaf juice, calendula extract, and kamu kamu extract. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with just a little bit of the Pat McGrath Labs concealer. I'm using my new tube of L1. This is the lightest possible shade, and I'm going to blend that out with my Sephora Pro 57 brush. This is the Pro Concealer 57. One of the great things about the sale is not only will you get 20, 15, or 10% off, but I believe everybody gets 30% off Sephora collection products. And the Pro brushes, I just double checked, the Pro brushes are considered to be part of the Sephora collection. So you will receive 30% off these brushes. I know I've mentioned them several times because I use a lot of them regularly, but I love these brushes so much. I pulled out a lot of the Sephora brushes to use today. I like that this concealer is a little bit lighter. It looks beautiful underneath the eye, it's very brightening. But on the lid, it's going to be nice as a primer because it will help us achieve the true color of the shadow. I've only used my new beautiful Gucci eyeshadow palette once on camera, but I recommended it for the sale, so I feel like I have to do it justice and use it again. This time around, we're gonna play with these deeper, kind of plummy tones down here. So I picked up a clean fluffy brush, the cleanest brush I had, and I'm dipping into this shade first. It's a medium intensity brown, it's kind of the perfect crease shade, and it's not too warm, which I like. I always like to begin with the outer crease and then I slowly work my way in. This palette seems to elicit very strong reactions, both good and bad. I've heard from a lot of people who really like it, just like I do, but then I have heard from a lot of people who hate this palette, they think it looks really cheesy, really cheap, they don't like the color story, they didn't have a great experience with the eyeshadow. I have loved it. And I've used it quite a bit off camera. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see the new Gucci movie that's coming out at the end of the month with Lady Gaga, Jared Leto, who else is in it? It's got an all-star cast. And I think the cinematography looks really beautiful. We went to see the new James Bond movie and they had a trailer. And I can't wait. Next, I picked up another Sephora Pro brush. This is the Pro Shadow 15, and I'm going into this really pretty, kind of taupey plum here in the corner. It's a really beautiful shade. I'm just not quite sure how to categorize it. It's a little bit purple, but it's not really jewel toned. This is going all over the lid. taking it up to the crease. It has a really pretty finish. It's not quite metallic, sort of satin. It's pretty soft. If you prefer to use your fingers for eyeshadow, you could definitely apply this with fingers. I'm trying to think if there are any other good movies I'm excited to see. Not a movie, but Yellowstone is back. If anybody's really into Yellowstone, such a good show. And they really left us hanging for a long time. It has been a while, but I cannot wait. It aired on Sunday, but we recorded it, so we'll probably watch it tonight. 
Really quickly, I'm just going to take my original fluffy brush and blend in the crease. Nothing looks that harsh, but just in case, I'm gonna make it a nice soft transition. Picking up one of my favorite Sephora Pro eye brushes. I really like the face brushes. There are a few eye brushes that I really like. This is one of them. This is the Pro Crease number 19. I'm going into this shade right here, just an eggplant. And I'm gonna use this to add a little depth in the outer V. This shade seems to take a little bit longer to build up, but I like the color. Seems like a lot of the good shows are starting to come back. If you have any other recommendations, let me know down below. I don't remember if I mentioned this or if I said it in a video, but my husband and I have been catching up on Grey's Anatomy because he never saw it when the show first came out. So we started, where's my little brush? We started with season one. I think we're on season 10. It feels like we've been watching, well, it doesn't just feel like it. We have been watching Grey's Anatomy for months now and we've probably hit the halfway point. It is outrageous how many episodes there are. If you are desperate to binge watch a show and you have nothing but time on your hands, I highly recommend Grey's Anatomy. It's a wonder neither of us have gotten burnt out yet. I think slowly but surely we're starting to get there. It's different when you watch them all back to back. We'll watch a couple episodes a night, every single night, weekends, weekdays and we just can't get through it fast enough. We watched a couple episodes of Squid Game. Couldn't really get into it. We've, we'll have we kind of integrate other shows here and there, but I feel like we lose interest in those, but for whatever reason, Grey's Anatomy has just captured our hearts. It's been able to hold our attention for months now. Think it would be a good goal to finish it before the end of the year. Just going back quickly with another fluffy brush, making sure it's nice and soft. Using my finger, I'm gonna go into this purple shade right here, and I'm going to pat a little bit of this directly on the center of the lid. For now, we're done with the eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the eye mask always so satisfying. Perfectly clean and hydrated. And then I'm just going to massage in the rest of this serum. Using the serum and a paper towel, just cleaning up this outer V. Now I can get into a lot of the new products I picked up. So here I have this mini version of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I of course have this in the full size, but I think this mini is such a great deal. I think the price is perfect for the amount you get. And this is going to be so nice for travel. So I am just going to highlight the under eye area, a little bit in the center of the forehead, the chin, kind of just center points of the face and then blend it out. I'm using another one of my favorite Sephora Pro brushes. This is the Pro Foundation 56. You've probably seen me use this quite a bit. Such a beautiful product. That is one of the cult favorites. I remember when Charlotte Tilbury first came on the scene, everybody was raving about the Hollywood Flawless Filter and for good reason. Leaves a beautiful glow to the skin. Next, I finally picked up a bottle of the famous Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. If you can believe it, I have never owned a bottle of Luminous Silk. And I think this is just a staple in any luxury makeup collection. I used to use this all the time on clients when I worked in store, but for whatever reason, I just never had a bottle for myself. I've gone through an entire bottle of Power Fabric, the Compact Foundation, several other Armani foundations, but never Luminous Silk. So I picked this up 
here we go. Same technique as the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm just starting in the center and blending out. Same brush, Pro Foundation 56. Oh, and I have shade 5.2. I think that's probably what held me back from picking this up previously is that I never felt like I had a good shade match. But 5.2 is the winner. I thought maybe I was 5.5. I knew I wasn't 6, but maybe. And I think some of the shades are a bit different. I want to say I had shade 6 in the Power Fabric. It's been a while. This is the one, 5.2. Oh my gosh. I know I've used samples of this foundation before. This isn't the first time I've ever applied this foundation to my face, but I must say, I'm really impressed. Next, I'm going back with the Pat McGrath Labs concealer. Teeny tiny bit. Once again, I'm blending this out with the Sephora Pro 57 concealer brush. The face is looking very pale at the moment, but you have to trust the process. So next, I'm going to warm up my skin using this Westman Atelier Mini. This is their contour stick in the shade Truffle, and this came straight out of the Westman Atelier Clean Glow Trio, the Petite Sticks. I love this little set, one of the best things you can pick up during the sale. So this is kind of a contour. I think it's a good shade for both. Using the same Pro Foundation brush. I like that it adds a little color, but it still looks natural. And with the right brush, it blends really easy. Sometimes I feel like I have to build up those contour sticks a little bit. I'll go in, apply some, blend it out, and then I'll apply a little bit more, blend it out. But I actually think this is fine. This is a good place to stop. Okay, fine, a little bit more, <laughs> just on the tops of the cheeks. I'm going to use the Baby Cheeks blush from the set as well. Just playing a little bit. Oh, such a pretty shade. That's why I went with the shade two. I liked the contour and blush shades a little bit better than the original. I don't think you can go wrong. It's just a really great set. I like that you can try three products for $78. Considering the price of one of the sticks, it is a really good buy. To set my under eyes, I pulled out one of my favorite loose powders. This is from Huda Beauty. This is her Banana Bread Easy Bake Powder. So finely milled. It's very mattifying, which I think I need underneath the eye for this look because we've gone in with a lot of gluey products and I still have to apply highlighter and a finishing powder. 
I just think it makes the skin look so smooth and airbrushed. To highlight, I'm going in with my new Givenchy Prism Libra Highlighter in shade 10, Organza Ore. I picked this up during the Sephora sale. It is stunning. Beautiful packaging. I like how the top can act as a mirror as well. And you have the four quadrants with rose and gold alternating. So it just looks so pretty on the skin. Ooh, and inside you get a little Givenchy poof. A little powder poof very cute i opened this up in my haul but i haven't truly applied it to the skin yet so i'm excited i did a little demonstration but it's not the same i'm just gonna use the puff it's so pretty I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the powder poof, but I, I like it. Wow. So pretty for the holidays. I'm so glad I did not skip this highlighter. I really think the sponge helps give it a nice, soft, more natural application. If I went in with my typical brush, I think it would just sort of sit right on top of the skin and it wouldn't really melt into the foundation or blend quite as nicely as this. So it depends on the look you want to create. If you want something that's, that's really blinding, I would go in with a brush. But if you kind of want to pat it into the makeup that you already applied, this little poof is nice. So pretty. Before we finish the eyes, I want to quickly try something. I'm going to pat just a little bit of that Givenchy highlighter on the center of the lid. Just to open the eyes a little bit. This is my favorite part of the makeup application because it's when it all starts to come together. So with the pencil brush, I am going to pick up the taupe shade first, this one in the corner, and I'm going to begin buffing that underneath the lower lash line. With a blank brush, I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit further. For the waterline, I just pulled out this Pillow Talk eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. It's been a while since I've used this. But I think it will look really nice and complement the look. Before moving on, I'm going back with the pencil brush and I'm gonna pick up this purple right here. And I'm going to buff that beneath the lower lash line, concentrating on the outer half. I just finished my top eyeliner and I filled in my eyebrows. And now with a little precision brush, I'm picking up more of the Givenchy highlighter and I'm going to pop that on the brow bone and the inner corner of the eye. Just a teeny tiny bit on the brow. For the inner corner of the eye, I'm going right in the tear duct.
one of the items I restocked during the Sephora sale was my Gucci mascara. I swear by this mascara. Nothing lengthens and separates lashes better. I have so many open mascaras right now, but I struggle with them. They're either too clumpy or the wand isn't quite right for the lower lash line. So I went ahead and took advantage of the savings and I picked up a fresh tube of the Gucci mascara. We're almost done with the makeup look. The last step is lips and then I have a new finishing powder. For lips, I'm gonna go ahead and line them with the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. Then I'm gonna fill them in with the new Armani Lip Power. This is the shade 106. It's kind of the perfect everyday pinky nude. These lipsticks feel really creamy. Now, I like a gloss on a daily basis, so I'm gonna top that off with the Champagne Diamonds Lip Gloss from Charlotte Tilbury, just to add a little shine and sparkle. Eyes, lips, and face are done. The last step is finishing powder. This is one of my favorite pieces that I purchased during the Sephora sale, the Holiday Meteorites from Guerlain. These are the Gold Pearls, and I just took them out of the box. I haven't even peeked inside yet. I was so happy to see that the collection was there and it was still in stock, so I could shop with my discount. They are so pretty. I love the meteorites so much. These do remind me of the golden meteorites from a couple holiday seasons ago, but I don't care. I want to collect them all. So the best way to use this powder is, is to take a giant fluffy brush, just kind of swirl right around in there, and then set the face. Oh, mmm, they have that meteorite smell. It kind of smells like bubble gum. So they give the skin a little bit of a glow, a nice healthy sheen, a little color, not too much. So you wouldn't want to use this as a setting powder underneath the eye. I would never use this to set my concealer. It would just be way too much glow and too much color. But it's kind of nice as just the last step just to finish the makeup. Gives it that touch of sheen. Just a little something something. I think it makes the makeup look so special. Bring it down the neck, chest, decollete. The pearls are so pretty. You have bronze, gold, kind of a creamy sand, and then a bright pearlescent white. Done. This is my finished makeup look for the day. We have one more look under our belts using the Gucci eyeshadow palette. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. This is basically a recreation of a look that I've been doing off camera, and I have worn this in a few different videos, but I think in general the eyeshadow just blends really nicely, looks really great. I love all of the new complexion products like the Armani Luminous Silk, looks gorgeous on the skin, of course the Guerlain Meteorites. The Givenchy highlighter is beautiful. A lot of new favorites here and a lot of my favorite holiday pieces that launched so far this year. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and it inspired you if you are shopping the Sephora holiday savings event today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.